In this video, we're going to be reviewing how to install and configure iMember 360 and make a page uh, protected under the membership system. So uh, step one in this is you have to get uh, iMember 360 installed. iMember 360 is a plugin. So uh, you go in and install it just like you would any other uh, WordPress plugin. Uh, when you purchase iMember 360, uh, you'll be asked which domain you would like to use it for. And as long as the domain uh, that you're using here matches the one that you registered uh, with it, uh, it should work just fine. If not, get a hold of support.imember360.com and they will uh, they will correct any problem there might be. So um, the if you go into the iMember 360 um, you know detail installation uh, drop down here you'll see that there is um, an API setting so um, this one's already set up um, so you have to specify the uh, application name and the Infusionsoft API key this is something that you can um, go over here in Infusionsoft go to admin go to settings and go to the application over here if you scroll down you'll see that this is the same one that you copy over here and if you've done it correctly you can confirm that everything works um, well I'll show you in a minute how you confirm it but uh, there's one um, field that has to be specified and uh, that is this one here um, when you log in as a user into your website for iMember 360, you have to specify your email as your user ID and a password. Now the password, you can use the password field, which is a default field in, uh, it's this one here, in, um, in Fusionsoft, and that would be located in a contact record. So you'd go, if you went into a contact record, and I'll just go directly to, Oh, what do you know? We don't have one easily accessible, so I'll just search for myself. Um, so you can store it here under additional information, and the information would be put here. But if not, um, I usually create a uh, custom field, and the custom field uh, we have... I call it the iMember 360 password and that way if there's any other program in Infusionsoft for some reason that's using that password field you don't have to worry about a conflict. So if you're properly set up um, with the plugin options you should see a listing in here of all the custom fields that are available for storing this and again I'm just storing this in the iMember 360 password. Once you have that you just go ahead and save and um, you know you'll be on your way so that part is pretty much the extent of the installation so that WordPress can talk to Infusionsoft now there's this membership tag this site right now is one that we have under development and we've already created a number of membership levels but what I want to demonstrate is how easy it is to create a new one if I go over here into Infusionsoft and I look at my settings um, I can look at my tags. Now I always use a category called iMember360 and this is where I'm keeping all of my flags. What makes a membership level available over here for me to be able to add uh, in this drop down is it, we have to have two tags and they have to match exactly the same except that the second tag has this pay F in there. This tag is used by iMember360 uh, to note that the person has access to this membership level. If pay F is set up, it means that these folks had or may have had membership access, but the payment failed. As a result, they're going to be getting a message that says, you know, check with your site uh, administrator or check with someone. Uh, to get access again, which means pay your bill and we'll let you back in. So if I want to come up and add another membership level, and I'm just going to create one called just test level. 
um, and I'll come up. I just again, this isn't required, but I just like keeping all of them in the same uh, category so I can find them later. So I'm going to say test level, and it's important that you keep these in capital letters and that there be no space between the last letter of the tag and the payf. So as you can see, I, I now have these two together. If I go over here and I go update, no, I didn't mean to hit update the plugin. So I'm going to go to the membership levels and um, I'm going to just, so it's, if, if you hadn't refreshed it, you refreshed it here. And now you'll see that in this level here, if I go to create a new level, uh, what do you know, in that suite, it's not in there yet. So let me go in and refresh. So maybe I do need to go to update the plugin. I'm sorry, here it is. I have to click the refresh data button. Refresh now. And now when I go to the membership and I go in here, you'll see the test level appears. And so test level is a tag that iMember360 can use to provide access to that level. But I have to create a membership level over here in the website in order to be able to see it. So I'm going to open up another page here just so that you can see how this works. So um, I'm going to view all the pages. And actually, I meant to open a new window. I guess I didn't. So here's, you know, um, it's a resources page. It's any page it could be. And you'll notice that these membership levels here match the ones that I had defined over here in the membership. So this time, let me not mess it up and let me go right to the membership. And you'll see that those here, 990 through 1051, are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 levels I have available on the site. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to grab test level 1. And I'll call this test level. Well, it's just test level. There's no 1 in there. And I am going to uh, hit save in here. So now there's one more level, and if I do a refresh on this page, you'll see that now I'll have an additional level that I can add to this. So um, you see now I have a, an additional level that I can select. So in the, uh, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how we can uh, provide access to people, uh, to make this page only available to people who have access. Take care.